Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot, and today we are going to be talking about choosing a domain name for your website project. So last time we talked a bit about uh, choosing hosting, where I recommended probably Green Geeks and SiteGround as being good, good budget hosting for your WordPress project. And sometimes the plans include a domain name. You'll just have to think about what name you're going to use, and I'm going to cover that in a minute. Um, If your hosting doesn't give you a free domain name included, you can pick one up fairly cheaply at GoDaddy or Namecheap or other places, but those two are the most popular. So anyway, let's get into it because choosing the name is, um, I found it to be quite a time consuming process. Uh, Choosing a .com, usually you're going to want to choose a .com and most of the short snappy .coms are already taken. So... um, You'll try testing domain names out and you're not going to be able to find something that really vibes with what your project is. So the best tool I found for searching for a domain name was this one called Lean Domain Search. I'll put a link in the description. Um, Lean Domain Search where you'll get great ideas for your website with this search. So let's say your name was Timmy and you're trying to make a new web uh, WordPress website. So let's type in Timmy's here is the, is the keyword for your website. So it'll generate lots of really nice uh, two word domains. So you could be, you know, Timmy's box or Timmy's data. Um, yeah, Timmy's city. Lots of nice stuff here that you could go with. Uh, let's say you wanted to um, sell posters. So just type posters in. And you could go, you know, posters1, posters1.com. That might be a nice way to to go ahead. Or posters man. Anyway, let's go posters labs. That's kind of nice. Let's go posters1, posters1, posters1.com. Still available. So you could make this into a a drop shipping or a print on demand posters website, for example. So, and then all you have to do is register this. With your hosting or or you could buy it from GoDaddy. Let's um, search for posters1.com here. And yeah, it says it's still available like we found from our search. So I like GoDaddy because uh, besides getting .coms, you can get a uh, .com AU if you're an Australian. Uh, I think in Australia, Google uh, prefers local businesses who use .com AU. Similarly, New Zealanders might use a CoNZ. And it, it does add a little bit of extra trust for those customers who are in Australia and New Zealand. Similarly, in the UK, you can do Co UK. GoDaddy gives you all these options. Not all hosting, um, not all domain hosting providers give you those extra um, country specific domains. So that's the reason why I've, I like GoDaddy because I, I make a lot of Australian websites, but. You can make them suitable for whichever country your project's in or for a general project where you're shipping worldwide, just go for a a .com. So GoDaddy works really well in that respect. Namecheap is also good. Namecheap can do, I was looking at timmysart.co.uk, you can do UK, you can do comau. Um, You can't do co-nz on here. Um, But for the most part, uh, .com... um, I'm looking at $12 Australian, GoDaddy, I'm looking at, I think they're pretty similar. Um, $14.95. So, Namecheap's slightly cheaper. Um, Let's look at the ComAU, $22 for the AU, and $14.95. So, GoDaddy cheaper for the ComAU. Let's look at the com. 12.45 for the .com and timmysart.com was going to be... Okay, so Namecheap is cheaper for a .com. GoDaddy is cheaper for this country-specific um, com AU. So that's our conclusion. Now, that sort of wraps it up, really. Um, if you're looking for a .com grab it from probably Namecheap. If you're looking for a country-specific ComAU or a CoUK, I'd probably go with GoDaddy. CoUK, yeah, it's uh, still fairly reasonable. 
So hopefully that helps. I, I've spent so much time in um, posters, um, lean domain search, trying to find new domain names. And it can be quite um, quite interesting, quite fun, but you can get a bit obsessive about choosing your name, like choosing a name for your, for your band or choosing your name for your character in a game or something. It, this is a big part, but this is probably my favorite tool. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And hopefully you've found this useful. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Cheers.